Well, everyone, the part is scheduled to get here that's going to fix this car on the, June, the 1st of June. Um, but during the meantime, I decided to get something to occupy us. I got some mud flaps. This is going to help with, the, I think, some drag reduction or something. And it's also going to look a bit cooler. Well, online, it's something to note if you've seen these RPM mud flaps. Shout out to RPM. Uh, they look very small until you buy them and they're actually like the size of the inside of your hand so um, yeah and then here's a uh, tire versus the mud flap so you can see the real the real size comparison and for those of you with all right everyone this is what it is everything you get in the bag you get your instruction manual that has everything on that and you order you get some sweet RPM stickers you get a label that tells you who everything's packaged by for each individual bag uh, I think it's the same for each one GC uh, I don't know who GC is but shout out to them um, you get your two mud flaps one on each side you get two of these little things I don't know what they do yet and you get two of these that uh, mount on your bumper. So, um, yeah, um, that's everything you get in the bag. Alright, so as you can see there, I got this beam part figured out with the instructions. Thank you so much, RPM. A lot of other companies, such as Hot Racing, I am going to point them out. On a lot of the products that they give me, uh, they don't include instructions. Um, the transmission I got from them, no instructions. Um, I'm kind of disappointed about that. But, you know, I think that in the future, if everyone can get instructions, there will be less breakages. Because... Most of the break breakages I've had are on the other companies other than Traxxas, Tamiya, or, or um, RPM. So, a uh, nice shout out to RPM for actually including some instructions. So, I'm just trying to get this aligned, and then I'm going to mount this onto the bar there. Uh, let's see. Mount like this. I'm just going to do one side for you guys. Usually the second side is a lot faster. So if if you don't have an RPM rear bumper, this will not work for you. If you have a Traxxas rear bumper, this won't work for you. RPM bumper I think they had to get like some sort of a license thing from Traxxas to make parts for their cars upgrade parts uh, but yeah there are several companies out there aftermarket companies that make parts for cool cars like a Traxxas slash but they, the thing is is you have to pick and choose which ones actually work like some of these companies just want to charge more money for a part that's not even gonna work so um so, some of those companies that I've encountered, well, I know that Venom batteries are partnered with Automatic RC, or Atomic, I don't even know how to pronounce the name. Um, they have, they made a part that didn't really work for me quite, so yeah. I, I'm not sure though, is this mud flap too big or, I don't know, I mean, it might have been, it might stick down too much, I'm just looking at it over here. Yeah, might stick down too much for the two-wheel drives. Who knows? I might have to find somewhere else to mount it. I might have to makeshift something up here. I would hate to do that, but I might have to. But I, I should only tell after I get everything done and see how it works. Um, my friend was saying something about how they don't, like, do something where, like, something goes wrong or something. I don't know. I think I should mount this on the other side for some reason. 
because I feel like then the dirt won't get clogged inside the screws. So, um, yeah, I'm going to finish up this side and then I'll check in after it's all done. So when it's all said and done and everything's mounted up, uh, it looks like this. And it, I have to say, at first it looked pretty odd with all these sticking out really wide. But when you, I think that when I mount this to the car, it should look some, somewhat more realistic. Um, it obviously you have the really nice little RPM logos. And I was talking to my friend about how they dip down underneath the skid plate area and he said that if they are too long they'll grind off and they'll mold themselves to the car basically which it doesn't sound pretty but i think it, it it's going to work good so um once again uh the transmission i'm waiting on some parts and what the heck subscribe um so yeah please subscribe leave a like for the video and I uh, hopefully you have a really good day. video I will keep you all updated as to when the shaft for the transmission is coming um, it is obviously the main part that connects the clutch to the actual transmission and um, it's a very important part so can't run without it um, please again subscribe it helps a lot um, and I will see you again on the next video bye bye